High-level football often requires quick decision-making, as one creative move from a player may be enough to make a difference and win the game for his side. Such moments of true football genius never fail to amaze us as they become as memorable as game-winning goals. Scoring a goal is not easy, but it's the ability to think outside the box that determines a smart player. In this video, we would like to show you the best examples of it, so get ready for some high IQ moments. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and drop a comment to help YouTube promote it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button so that you don't miss our next video. But before we go on, we would like to ask you a question. Which one of these players made the most assists at the club level? Kevin De Bruyne, Neymar, Christian Eriksen, Luis Suarez. Please leave your answers in the comments and get ready for watching. Here we go. The Real Madrid midfielder Guti was one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and taking a shot seemed the most logical decision. However, instead of shooting, he made a pinpoint back heel pass to Karim Benzema, thus securing an easy goal for the Frenchman. It's not even the back heel that made Guti's move so special, but rather the fact that the risky move came completely out of nowhere, and nobody saw it coming. The Chelsea defender David Lewis caught his opponents off guard. His compatriot William was to take a free kick, and the Liverpool keeper Mignolet was giving instructions to his teammates in the wall. But before the keeper took his place in goal, David Lewis suddenly took a run-up and smashed it in, leaving the Belgian keeper no time to react. On the replay, you can see Mignolet being completely unprepared, throwing up his hands and shouting to his teammate. Man United were to take a corner late in the first half. Wayne Rooney dribbled the ball towards the flag and then moved away as if leaving it for his teammate. Wayne's general touch didn't make the ball look back in play, so Ryan Giggs went on with a trick. He slowly came to the ball and then suddenly dribbled it towards the penalty area and made a cross, which found Ronaldo's head. The Chelsea defenders looked completely stunned by that move, but fortunately for them, the goal didn't stand as the linesman believed that Rooney should have warned him about his intentions. Zlatan Ibrahimovic knew he was offside, so when Emmanuelson sent the ball forward, Zlatan didn't touch it, so the ball went through his legs. Such a clever move from the sweet paid off seconds later, as the Dutchman went one-on-one, -on -one, dribbled past the keeper and scored. Here, Miralem Pjanic shows that he is about to make a cross. However, the Bosnian changes his mind at the very last moment and passes it low to Cristiano Ronaldo, whose first-time finish sends the ball into the bottom corner. Barcelona were playing Sampdoria, and Iniesta's pass found Lionel Messi, who came up with a most brilliant decision. Leo controlled the ball with his chest and found Luis Suarez with his overhead pass. The Uruguayan only needed to head it goalwards from the edge of the six-yard box. Ten minutes in against Russia, Uruguay got themselves a free kick. Two Uruguayans joined the Russian players in the wall and when Suarez started his run-up, both of them ran away, thus allowing the taker to place his shot in the bottom corner. Igor Akinfev, the Russian goalkeeper, looked completely confused. The Uruguayans moved caught him unprepared and made him miss the shot he was supposed to save. Virgil van Dijk, the Liverpool centre-back, ended up being caught in a 1 vs 2 situation against Tottenham. The Dutchman knew that Sissoko was right-footed, so he stayed on his opponent's right-hand side in order to prevent him from passing the ball to Son. Van Dijk's move allowed his teammates to catch up with the Spurs players and Sissoko had no other option but to shoot with his left. Phenomenal decision-making from Virgil van Dijk, his awareness and positioning deserve the highest praise. Bayern were playing a Champions League game against Cervenas Vesta and were to take a free kick in stoppage time. Four Bayern players stood by the ball as they were discussing something. In the end, only two of them were left, Thiago and Kimi. All of a sudden, Thiago caught a glance of Thomas Müller in the box, lobbed the ball and the German was precise with his first time finish. The replay shows us how confused the Serbs were it took them some time to understand what had actually happened. Ronaldinho's time in Brazil was marked with a funny incident. The Brazilian magician asked the opponent's goalkeeper to give him some water. Then Ronaldinho moved away and got the ball all by himself. 
He was quick with his decision making as he passed the bell to his teammate and then celebrated the goal with a wonderful dance. Borussia got themselves a free kick 19 minutes in. After some discussion with Marco Royce, Rafael Guerrero took a run up but didn't touch the ball as instead when the players in the wall had already broken the formation, he walked slowly back to it. After a fast move by Royce, Rafael made a cross with his left at the same time, the other b foul B players made a run into the box. The cross found Paco Alcacer's head. The Spaniard kept his composure and beat the Werder keeper. With only 5 minutes of extra time remaining, Alvaro Morata was about to have a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, but Valverde made the only right decision as he fought the striker while he was still outside the box. Of course, that was classified as a professional foul and Valverde got red, but Atletico didn't score from that free kick and the game went down to a penalty shootout which was won by Los Blancos. As for Diego Simeone, he actually praised the Uruguayan for that move. He ruffled the midfielder's hair when he was leaving the pitch and later stated that Valverde's foul won the game for Real Madrid. Barca played Apoel and Xavi passed the ball to Mascherano who made a through ball to Messi who clearly was offside. Despite having little time to react, Messi came up with a decision and didn't touch the ball, while Pedro got it not far from the goal line and passed it to Messi. Leo was now onside, so it was an easy finish for the Argentine who completed his hat-trick, thus breaking Raul's Champions League record. Back in 2018, Japan executed a perfect offside trap in a World Cup game. Once the free kick was taken, the Japanese players ran forward so that six of their Senegalese opponents got caught offside. Interestingly, Barca had already done this trick four years before as they left behind six PSG players. The Japanese trap, however, looked more smooth, so we have to give them credit. Real Madrid were given a free kick against Sevilla. While the referee came to Asensio to see if he was alright, Sevilla footballers were catching their breath and preparing for the free kick. Nacho Fernandez came out of nowhere. He took a shot and got an easy goal as the Sevilla keeper never saw it coming and didn't even try to save it. Despite all the objections from Sevilla players, the goal stood as the referee didn't tell Real Madrid footballers to wait for his whistle. Jordi Alba passed the ball low into the box against Tottenham. Coutinho didn't touch it. Neither did Luis Suarez, so it came to Messi and Leo did what he does best. His first time finish left no chance to Ugoliori. It was the opening day of the Bundesliga marked with Robert Lewandowski's incredible assist. Robert got the ball from his teammate but was tackled by his opponent. Then he got the ball back and instead of passing it with his left foot, found Thomas Müller with a most spectacular Rabona. It was an easy one for the German as his first time finish went in straight into the bottom corner. Bayer Leverkusen got themselves a close-range free kick against the Russian side Zenit 68 minutes in. Their amazing combination was executed brilliantly and Son finished it with a first-time shot while the keeper Lodigging could only watch the ball fly into the top corner. Dear friends, please let us know in the comments which one of today's brilliant moments surprised you the most. Thank you for watching and see you soon.